really uh, exceptional quality in both John and Becky is that they don't just do one thing well. They can be great family members, they can be great friends, they can work well in a, a business setting, but they also are generous and so philanthropic. I, I know my earliest awareness of, of John's involvement in the community was with the Civic Theater, and this would have been in the 70s. And, and that really blossomed into philanthropic endeavors for both of them that touched the Goodwill, Myron Stratton Home, United Way, personally very meaningful, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. They genuinely care for the welfare of others and sacrifice their own resources in order to make life better for other people. I'm not sure I've ever seen anyone be more of a catalyst for a positive change in a community than John and Becky. It, it would probably be easier for me to come up with a number of nonprofits they have not been involved with than those that they have been. I've never seen anything quite like it, and I think our community has benefited as a result. When I think about John and Becky as a couple, they're obviously a power couple in many ways. They accomplish a lot. They put themselves out in the community to take responsibility in many sectors of our community to improve it. They do not strike me as people who are self-serving. They're not looking for accolades. They are looking for problems they can solve. John and Becky have a clear perspective on how this community can be better and they're willing to roll up their sleeves and work on it. My mom is, is just incredibly, uh, incredibly thoughtful. She's, she's so able to, uh, to sit back and look at things objectively and to kind of see the bigger picture. So a little known fact about my mother is that she's actually a huge secret science fiction nerd and she introduced me to Isaac Asimov and Robert Heinlein and all of these huge sci-fi writers that, uh, that she read in college. She doesn't really come across that way, but definitely, definitely a nerd. She's never said anything bad about anyone. She never gossips. She is just super nice. And she's also a Renaissance woman. She has a family. She started her own business. She's outdoorsy, but she's also a fashionista and goes to shows and parties. My dad, big thing that he does that I'd love to emulate is his leadership ability. He, you know, he's, he's run several companies as CEO. In every uh, experience, not, not even in business, in every kind of life situation, he uh, always has kind of naturally this leadership role. Little known fact about my dad, he is an incredible gift giver. He gives the best presents. He is so thoughtful about understanding the individual and, and what would be good for them, what they would like. For my mom, I think for, for an anniversary present, he commissioned a painting for her because he knew that my mom loves to hike in this, this very specific place in Stratton Preserve um, where there's all these beautiful wildflowers. And so he, he took uh, Sarah Hausam out there and, and showed her the place. And she did this incredible, gorgeous painting, um, which is now hanging up in their, their bedroom. And that's just kind of an example of, of how it's just incredibly thoughtful he is. My father is um, one of the most loyal people I've ever met. Along with that is one of the most morally sound people I've ever met. He works really, really hard to help other people. My parents are the people that I want to grow up to be. Everything that they have done, that, that they're capable of, um, the people that they are is, is a, a big aspiration of mine.